welcome back. Sports director Andy Malnoski is off tonight, but don't you worry. We have all your highlights and scores from across the Twin Tiers. Let's jump to it. Well, with thoughts of the postseason in the air, the Almira boys basketball team is peaking at the right time. The Express on a win streak and hoping to put that momentum to use tonight. Elmira hosting Corning. The Express cheerleaders getting set pregame, but it's Corning who strikes first as Derek Fee under the basket and the Hawks on the board, but Elmira close behind the Express celebrating their senior night tonight and Alex Bellardini playing pumped up. The senior knocks down the tray. Later on, it's Eli Thomas in the paint. He goes up and under for the bucket. The Express getting big, Elmira ahead 11-8. But the Express not taking no for an answer as another fourth year Trayvon Hamilton gets the smooth land and Elmira playing full tilt tonight. The Express get the W83-64. Elmira now on a three game win streak. Notre Dame versus Watkins Glen and we have ourselves a little dance party. Well, into the third quarter, Watkins down by two, but the Seneca is putting up a fight as Luke Flayhive pressure on. We have ourselves a tie. Later, Watkins gun killing it from beyond the arc. And Colin Gates, well, he's proven that. He's getting jacked. And we're tied again at 23. And Notre Dame starting to feel the pressure, but Tom Agan will not be muscled out. Down low defense crashing doesn't matter. It was Seneca's senior night, too. And they wanted the win, the pass inside to Keith Rexis Jr., but he's playing like the senior, and Watkins Glen takes the one-point lead. Watkins puts up a fight, but the Crusaders crawling back. Notre Dame almost falls in a stunner, but they pull out the win, 46-37. In more boys' games, Sarah hosting Liberty Redskin Nate Williams looking to join the 1,000-point club tonight. In the first quarter, Williams needs just four more and count it over the top of the Mounties. Williams almost there, number 25. But what about the foundation of good offense? Well, you know, that's great defense. And Williams with the steal driving. And the junior, Nate Williams, doing it big time. Nate feeling the love from his teammates after the milestone. Welcome to the club, Williams. And this game all about number 25. Williams scored 47 points tonight. Look, bowling's even his thing, too. Later, now he's just showing off. He hit eight threes. That is ridiculous. Congrats to Nate and the rest of the Sayre. Not doing too bad, either. The boys win 84-38. The Blue Raiders hosting the Golden Bears. Everyone excited. First quarter, Horseheads up 9-6. And Foster Clark finds Devontae Gaskins. And the hook shot is good for two. He had 19 tonight. Later on, Vessel trying to chip away at the Raiders. Nick Wegman's shot not there, but Jake Malloy's is. The pull-up Jay Vessel now down just two. Then the Blue Raiders with the tough defense. Daskins, Gaskins throwing up the block party on the Golden Bears. And Horseheads is off and running. Then Jake Sturmer from deep hits the corner three, and there's more where that came from. Chris Corcoran stops and pops it later on. Horseheads coming up big on the home court, 67-43. Well, on the girls' side, Horseheads facing off against Vestal. Vestal, though, going down early against the Blue Raiders. First half, Horseheads, Amanda Sheefen hits off the rebound there. Horseheads up 10. Later, Vessel trying to come back, though. Alex Evans finishes off the pretty feed. Back to an eight-point game. And later on, Bailey Burghardt taking things into her own hands. Nice lefty there, but it isn't enough for Vessel. Horseheads powers through to beat Vessel 57-43, and Amanda Sheevan helps out with 20 points. More girls basketball, Elmira comes up short against Corning. The Lady Hawks top the Express 49-40, and Olivia LeBaron comes up with 17 for Corning, and Waverly also dominates Edison 58-24. To the hockey rink, both EC teams in tune with one another. The same scores tonight. The women went out against Oswego 5-2, and the men also edge out Newman, well, 5-2. In more hockey, the Division I Cornell women on par with St. Lawrence. The women tie one apiece, and the men end in a tie two. Big Red with a draw 4-4 at first arena. It was Blade's birthday, though, but the Jack Attack just could not get it done. Elmira falls to Fort Wayne 4-3. So a lot of action going on tonight. I think that's the most I've ever talked in my life. That could should count it's as like good, some though. it's You're like some cardio exercise. I think. <laughs> sure, who needs to go to the gym this weekend? Exactly. Right? I'm just making up for lost time. <laughs> oh, is all that pizza we ate last night? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so now we can talk about all the. Pizza I mean, it's out there. Why not? That's true. All if right. you don't know what we're talking about, make sure you watch our nightly Facebook videos. On our Facebook page. <laughs> all right, Joel. Have a last look at the forecast. You're watching WNY News at 11.